Hello, teacher. Good evening. Teacher, don't hear you. Hi, can you hear me now? Yes. There you go. How good are evening. you? Good evening. I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm okay, good. Happy Monday. Yes, but the weather is terrible. It's hot. <laughs> yes, very hot. Yeah, that's the bad thing. Yes. How was your it weekend? Ah, uh, my weekend is it was okay. It's normal weekend, but I went to the supermarket. I bought the food and, and other things I needed. And yesterday, I stayed in my house all day. Oh, that's 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 good. Yes. What about you? I went to the beach. With my family, I went to that surf city. Surf city, it was nice. The 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 street, it was very nice. It's beautiful. People yes. say that the freeway uh, is that subway or uh, sorry, freeway or it's actually a freeway, a highway. Mm -hmm. A highway. The, it's beautiful. It is. It's very very nice. I liked it. Mm. But there, in, there, there's this I, part when you're driving, when you're driving, and suddenly, boom, you see all the beach, the water, the ocean. It's very beautiful. I imagine in sunset, it must be very, very beautiful. Spectacular. Yes. Is is uh, the the world uh, the government didn't did is very done they, in that case the government well done that yeah yes street. because it's a good tourist attraction yes the solace person the how do you say ventas only uh, sales, sales in, informal the sales, sales. The, the informal sales uh, around the world throw the world the street the highway. Yes. I put in that. Yes, it's true. Mm. But I, yeah, that's the only bad part because there's what what I think is going to happen that in the future more and more and more and more people are going to sell. Um, it's going to be a point that no, lo <laughs> van Yeah. Because I. I said, I say somebody else uh, told to the sales, the informant sales uh, around the highway. And many people said the government uh, permitted putting that. I don't think they permit. I just don't think they're, they're doing something about it. Maybe they say, hey, they're those, you know. But I think it's going to be a problem when more and more and more people start selling. What about the traffic? Many people say that in the freeway is a lot of traffic. Well, it depends because I, I left my house at nine in the morning and there was no traffic. Okay. That day, that day was good for me. Maybe, saben como se dice hora pico in English? I forget it. I forget it. You say rush hour. Rush hour. Yes. Rush hour. Rush hour. Okay, yes. maybe in a in a, a seven a.m. or maybe at the end of the afternoon, uh, around the five p.m. Maybe. In that uh, hours, there is a lot of traffic. Oh yeah, I imagine in that in that yes, there must be a lot of traffic. 
I was I was a little angry though because we went first we went to El Mahawal. And um when we were there entering the beach, suddenly this man they stopped us with cones or conos. Why? And I said, hi, hi. And you know, they're very nice. Like, hi, how are you? And I was like, okay. We are the lifeguards, los guardavidas. Okay. We are the lifeguards of this beach. We work voluntarily, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't like in the way they stopped the traffic. It's like, un gran cono, man, too. It's like, they don't let people come in or out. You have to give them money. Only for act something. No, to go into the beach. Oh, yeah. And maybe, maybe they're they're not even lifeguards. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you Typico. know, I, oh, how do you say "typical" uh, in a uh, front of the the Rosales Hospital? I stay uh, one man, and I stop. I stop the traffic when the people throw oh, the, yes, yes. the street. How do you yeah. say? No, but there's no name for that. Okay. <laughs> but it's a bolo. He's a bum. Only chabeliado. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, I I don't have respect for people like that. Where, where I live around the corner every morning, there are these people that stop the traffic. They they work supposedly for the Red Cross or Red Cross. Or green cross whatever but they stop like five of them stop the traffic like hey, hey hey stop and you know that makes a little traffic and the problem is i live i have to pass there maybe four or five times every day and you know i mean they ask for money all day yes so people like that i don't respect i mean i really do respect people that deserve money. I prefer to give 24. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. It's according that the, the people maybe someone um they are poor or maybe for for that I don't know. Yeah so maybe for that no I don't think they're think poor. I think they're lazy. Sorry. I think they are lazy. Maybe because many people ask some money for that uh, liquor or maybe drops. Yes. Or something like that. Do you know Merliot? Yes. Merliot before, remember Parque Principito? Yes. A long time ago before they Remember, there was a lot of people asking for money before they, they closed the, um, it was in front of, it was in front of Super Selectos. Yes. In that traffic light, before you can do a U-turn, but now it's closed. There were kids, the, the people from that community, the women, Yes, lo raro. You only see women and children. You don't see men. And you see women asking for money and the children. Pero miren, the children got in your car. So se metían, please give me money, please give me money. And you say, hey, hija, no, please, hey, stop. And then, you know, please, like, get off. Quitate, te va a matar, you know. And they get angry and they start throwing rocks at you. Yes, that was a long time ago, but now they closed the um around the uh, near to Metro Centro, uh, Pronos Pueblo Viejo restaurants, uh, in that street, uh, stay uh, women, uh, she has two children, and it's the same case the children into the cars and ask for money 
And I remember a long time ago in one's uh, occasion, the children took the cell phone of the people driving in a car. That's sad, that's very, very sad. It shouldn't happen. Let me see, I see here, Jose Mariano, how are you? Good evening, teacher. How was your weekend, sir? With a lot of work to do. Working Party? in a project now, working all, all weekend. Why, man, you don't have, don't work on the weekends. <laughs> you have Sometimes to it's necessary. You have to rest, man. Now I am rest. No, I don't know, but sometimes I don't want to. to, to oh, have a rest. I have a question: Is your school going back to, to class normally? What? Your school? You work in Americana, right? No. No. What? What school do you work in? I'm working on my own, actually. Oh no, no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I was talking to Moises. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I work in electrical projects. Yes, I remember you work in an electrical <laughs> project. Yes. No, okay. No, but Mariano, Moises, yeah. I'm sorry. Moises? Yes. yes, tell me, teacher. Um, you work in Americana school, right? In Academia Britannica. Academia Britannica, I'm sorry. Um, is Academia Britannica going back to class physically? Yes, but we are going to back on uh, 19, uh, April 19. April 19, oh, okay. Are you happy? Uh, in some way, yes, because uh, we are going to back, but we are, we as physical education, we are not going to give lessons. Uh, uh, presenciales, presencial. Physical. Physical. Uh, uh, we are going to continue giving lessons uh, online because the uh, Ministerio de Educación uh, mm -hmm. don't want that we give lessons uh, physical because there, there is a restriction about uh, manage uh, groups uh, doing exercise. Uh, because of the risk of the contagious. Okay. And, and all the teachers are going to, to give some lessons, but uh, physical education continues online. Okay. Yes. But in some way we are happy because we are going to the school every day, uh, three hours per day. Okay, so you will be back in school then. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, at least at least you will be back in school. Yeah. Yes, that that's a good uh, news because we are very boring in, in the house. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. We have a uh, one year uh, uh, on March 12th, we accomplished one year giving lessons online. Can you imagine that one year? Yeah. That's, wow, that's, that's too much. That's hard. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine especially for, for, for physical education. Yes, and, and for students too, because they, they, uh, they say that they don't want online lessons. Nobody does. <laughs> yes, I think, I think so. All right. What about you, Evaristo? How was your weekend, sir? Good evening, everyone. Um, uh, it was it was excellent. I uh, I spent all, all my weekend with my wife, and it was very good. All right, good. Good to hear. Good to hear. 
So we have Oswe I thought I saw Neftali somewhere. Oh, there you are. Hi, Neftali, how are you? Hello, mister. How are you too? I'm okay, thank you. How was your weekend? Why am I working? I have, I'm doing homeworks and I go to the Cuscatlan Park to walk and, and, and exercise. Oh, okay, good. And that's it, mister. Oh, okay. You know, I, I was telling Anna that um, I went to the beach on Saturday. I went to like uh, El Sonte. But I was like, oh my God. Why, why, when I was 20, this didn't happen? Now it's like normal to see women basically naked in the beach, in tangas, in, in hilos. And I was shocked because when I was 20, that didn't exist. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I, I remember I frequently, I went to all the Lunadas in El Tunco and everything. You know, it was like normal. But now it's very normal to see women. And I was with my son, like, <laughs> oh my God. I was, I was with my wife and then this woman, I think she was from, they were maybe Brazilian or, or Argentinian. But oh man, yeah, they were. I mean, the woman was extremely beautiful, and, and the man, the man, he was very handsome. I mean, they were a couple; they were like perfect. But this woman, she was an hilo, really, and like right in front of us. And I look at my wife, and I told her. Mira, afligite si no me le quedo viendo porque ahí sería un hipócrita. <laughs> you know, like, because they were right in front of me. You know, I, I couldn't pretend to be like. <laughs> yeah, I said, come on. And my wife, she just laughed. <laughs> sí, sí, me dice, tenés razón. Yeah. O sea. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it was interesting. I like to be, I think, I think I'm going to go frequently to the beach now. Uh, maybe alone. Why, teacher? To see um, the landscape. You are yeah, terrible. I think I think I'm going to be a, a beach. Per I, I want to. I want to see that surf city. You are enjoy alone. <laughs> when yeah. you say so, surf city uh, is the park in the beach. Yes. Uh, okay. No, no, Surf City is, is the, the, the road. Oh, hey, it's nice. Road. I was telling Anna, it's very nice. It was interesting. We were there in 45 minutes. Teacher, yeah. but uh, I, I heard that the traffic, it was terrible in, in weekend. But, you know, I think that, I think that depends because we, we, we left the house at 9. We were there at 10 and we came back at three. Because on I on Saturday, because I remember if you if you go to the beach and you come back at four or five, that's two hours traffic. Yeah. It's so, true, it's true. So that's why I remember I said, no, let's go back at 3 30. I think at four we were coming back, no traffic. You come and, back early. <laughs> yes. And we left. Okay, so I think that's the trick. Leave late and come back early. Yeah, it's true. But when you are in the beach, you don't uh, return to the house early. <laughs> oh, yeah. To... But when you're married, you, you do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but, oh, yeah. If I were single, like, no, man, let's stay. But when you're married, you, you have to come back. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's do the screen. I'm going to... Yes, sir. Hey, what happened with your cousin and with her boyfriend? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Um, he didn't go. 
<laughs> he couldn't go because he had sight. But listen to this. He had to go pick up his best friend to the airport. It's on the skills. <laughs> no, and, and my cousin, she said, no, I can't even I said, really, man? He has a best friend? <laughs> so, malo que me tocó viajar hasta allá a verlo. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but maybe next week. <laughs> but I have to see that. I want you know what? I was even ready to record it on my cell phone. I, I was thinking I'm going to record this on my cell phone, like like you know, like this, like <laughs> because I wanted to see his reaction. But oh well. Mm -hmm. Okay, look, I'm going to share the screen. Uh, do you see my screen? Not yet. No, no, yet. Not. not yet. All right. Do you see it now? Yes. Yes. There you go. Okay. Let's listen to the video. Example Tom Cruise, who starred in that movie, is very talented. I'm sorry. This is what we did last week. Remember about giving important information and additional information, correct? Yes. 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 Teacher, can I uh, do a question about vacation? Yes. Uh, when are we going to to quedar de vacaciones? Uh, well, one thing. This is the last week. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to take the complete week next week. Okay, all the next week. Yes, but. We still will confirm on 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 Thursday, I think. Okay, okay. Thank you. Because teacher. yes, because um, the legal legal days is only Thursday and Friday, correct? Yes, the holidays. <laughs> the holidays, yes. But you know, it's possible that we take the week also, and then we just we don't come Thursday and Friday, and the next Friday we do the Thursday. You know. But maybe they, they will tell us. But yes, good question. Thank you, teacher. Hey, so remember, yes, remember, yes, uh, last week we were doing um, about giving essential information and additional information, correct? Yeah, correct. Remember that I remember Mariano has to go to Pueblo Vivos because <laughs> I didn't have time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because he doesn't know anything about his cycle. Ojutepeque or Ilovasco. <laughs> I only know Santa Tecla. Only Santa Tecla, Café <laughs> Talón, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, Colegio Santa Cecilia, La Delicias. Yes, all those places around the Café Talón. Todo, todo. <laughs> los precios y todo, you know. Yeah. All right. The bars. <laughs> okay, okay, bar. give me a favor. Can you tell me about La Chapultepec? Pultepec, ¿dónde es eso? En la cervecería. Yes. Ah, y es barata. Okay, but remember, give me, give me some essential information and some additional information. Um, that bar is really for all price, prices, and additional information. Sometimes it's too crowded. Okay, good. So La Chapultepec, which is a bar. Yeah, half a, bar, half a, restaurant. Yeah, which is a popular pub. Sometimes it's very full. Sometimes it's very full. So La Chapultepec, which is a popular pub, With sometimes it's very, full, it's very full. Yes. Correct? Yeah, correct. All right. So let me change this. Let's do the knowledge check. So it says instructions, read the following sentences, add the non-defining relative clauses in parentheses to the sentence. Remember to use commas for the non-denying relative clauses and period at the end. 
follow the example. A foreign correspondent travels all over the world who writes about events in other countries. The correct would be a foreign correspondent who writes events in other countries, travels all over the world. So here, what do you think is the essential information? Uh, this is confused, teacher. I, I think that this example is confused for me. I, I didn't understand. I tried to do it on Saturday and I didn't understand. Okay, so let's read the instructions one more time. It says, add the non-defining relative clause in parentheses to the sentence. Remember to use commas for the non any relative clause. Okay. Le voy a ser sincero aquí, queda mucho a su criterio, okay? Okay. Porque le voy a dar un ejemplo. Los planes. Los planes es famoso por pupusería o es, y es un lugar turístico. Ahí queda su criterio para ustedes que es más importante, si, you know? Si le digo, hey, class, what is Los Planes? Oh, Los Planes is a place popular for pupusas. O oh, Los Planes is, is a tourist attraction. In this case, the two are important. Yes. Correct? So says the next one would be the additional information. So I can say this, Los Planes is a place, it's a tourist attraction. And it's famous for pupusas. Oh, well, Los Planes is famous for pupusas and it's a tourist attraction. To me, it's important for a tourist attraction. Okay, to you, for other people, it's more important that it's for pupusas. For pupusas. Right. So this is, I mean, the two are correct. This is for you, what is more important? Okay. 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 So Teacher, in this, yes. There, uh, there is not a absolute answer. No, there isn't because because it depends on, on, on your point of view. Okay. For example, coffee. Coffee is good for, uh, coffee is good to wake up. And it's very popular in El Salvador. Or so coffee is very popular in El Salvador and it's good to wake up, to, to wake you up. It's like, what do you want to make important? Uh, it depends because if we are uh, talking about, uh, about flavors, we can do, we can say that coffee is a delicious uh, drink. But if you are going to recommend some uh, to people that needs more energy, you you could say, oh man, you, you have to take a, a coffee or, or drink a coffee. Yes. No, yes, it's true. So that's what I'm saying. It depends what you want to, it depends to you what is more important. Okay. 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 Okay, so in this case, a foreigner correspondent. Vaya, aquí va un perfecto ejemplo. ¿Saben qué es un foreigner correspondent? Corresponsal extranjero. Okay. Para mí, si yo les pregunto qué es un corresponsal 
extranjero, para mí una persona que eh, escribe sobre eventos de otros países y viaja mucho, right? Pero aquí lo hicieron al revés, aquí, aquí lo hicieron para ellos, a foreign correspondent viaja en todo el mundo y escribe de eventos de otros países. So, es como ustedes quieren, quieren ver las noticias. Mm -hmm. Ok. To me, yes. it's important because he writes about events in other countries. Yes. For me, I would put, what is a foreign correspondent? I say, I would say a foreign correspondent who writes about events in other countries travels all over the world. So travels all over the world is like additional information. Okay, so number one, it says a foreign correspondent travels all over the world who writes about events in other countries. So what do you think is the correct? Travels all over the world. Let's see. A foreign correspondent, just another person, who writes about events in other countries, comma, travels all over the world. And then the answer is complete. We have to write completely. And the first is the example. Yes, okay. Remember what I told you. I mean, there is no right or wrong answer because it's your criteria. Teacher, but it in the case that you can give the, the import to the travel over over the world, who, who do you structure the sentence in the first? A foreign correspondent who travels all over the world, comma, writes about events in other countries. Vale, okay. por ejemplo, si le preguntan a un arenero, a un femelenista, ¿quién es Bukele? Va a decir, Bukele, is a young man who is the president. It's a young man. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. importance of Bukele who is a, oh, oh wait, wait. Oh, Bukele who is, who is a very young man is the president of El Salvador. Imagínense, a quien le dieron importancia que era joven, no que era, the president. Yes. Yes, it's true. But if you ask somebody else, who is Bukele? Ah, Bukele, who is the president of El Salvador, is a young man. All right. So listen, number two, a web page designer needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Who is graphic artist? So it says a web page designer who is a graphic uh, artist needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Next, it says, okay, do you understand that? Yes. 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 Entonces, yes. vuelvo y repito aquí. Queda su criterio, ¿qué es lo que quieren darle más importancia? Yes. Next, it says, an editorial page editor gives options about current issues. Who is a daily newspaper columnist? Or you can say an editorial page editor who is a daily newspaper columnist gives opinions about current issues. Or gossip. A gossip columnist, do you know what a gossip is? No. Gossip. 
paro. paro. Chismoso. <laughs> yes. This is gossip. Chisme, chisme. Like the Gossip Girls, the TV show. Gossip Girls, yes. An editorial page editor gives opinion. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. A gossip columnist. What is the name of the gossip webpage here in Salvador? Well, the women toxic. And the men toxic. And I use that gossip. <laughs> toxic people are gossip. So it says an editorial. Ugh. A gossip columnist writes about celebrities and scandals. Who gets who gets to go to fabulous parties? So a gossip columnist who gets to go to fabulous parties writes about celebrities and scandals. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, In this case, is the the best way. Say, it looks that the who writes about celebrities and scandal gets to go to fa fabulous parties. Yes. I In think. my in my opinion, I think that's better. I I prefer that, but like I said, it's it depends what you want. All right. Next it says, how, uh, how serious is plagiarism? Do you know what is plagiarism? El pal plagio. Yeah. Right. Do you know about famous songs that are plagiarism? Mm, a couple. Yes. I, I Viva really... la Vida of Coldplay is have some some tours of Joe Satriani, for example. Okay, yes. Uh, a song. Yes, yes. to, Todas las de Soda Stereo. <laughs> a song from Foo Fighters. A song. Some chores uh, of Paul Bachman, Canadian song writer of Marito Rivera. <laughs> the Beatles, the, Be uh, the Beatles have plagiarism. Remember that song? Dun, 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 shake it up, baby. Now, remember that song? Twist and shout. We should shout. That song. Yes, yes, if you really think about it, it's La Bamba. Because listen to La Bamba. And that song really starts. Pero it was the Beatles con un pobre chicano latino, right? That song, uh, My Sweet Lord. I really want to meet you. Remember that song? Yes. Esa sí. Arrobó a un grupo de negritas. Yes, he's so fine. He's my man. There's many, many music. Esa fue de George Harrison. But imagine, imagine how powerful he is that when they sued him, lo demandaron. Te compró la disquera de esa canción. <laughs> so imagine, he says, I, I prefer to buy the company to pay the plagiarism. The That's power. power. The power of money, yes. Maná with um, Mariposa Traicionera. What is the original one? Yes. Just the band. No, I didn't call it. Listen to it. 
es la de traicionera de cumbia. Oye, traicionera. Oh. Yeah, the, the guitar is the same. Y eso es cierto, porque Maná pagó fuera de, de corte. So there's a lot of there's a lot of plagiarism. Yes, Shakira has a, a situation like this. Tips don't like, I remember. And the original one was from Jerry Rivera. Who, that 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 man. Yes, it's true. But not the song, just the the, the beginning. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. That's true. All right, so let's see plagiarism. So it says, scan the first paragraph of the article. What does the word plagiarism mean? So listen, recently a biology teacher in Kansas, a state in American Midwest, made national and even international news. After Christine Pelton discovered that 28 of her 118 students had a plagiarized part of a major project, she gave them failing grades. Although this was the school policy, the students' parents complained. The school board director, Ms. Pelton, to change the punishment. They told her that 600 points should be taken from the offenders rather the entire 1,800 points. Mr. Ms. Pelton resigned in protest. So do you understand what happened? Yeah, yes. So 118, wait, 28 students copied. Yes, a copycats. <laughs> copycats, yes. Why did this become such a significant story? Perhaps, perhaps it is because so many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Although the incident may soon be forgotten, it raises some important questions. What is plagiarism? How serious is it? The simplest form of plagiarism occurs when someone copies material without giving credit to the source. However, there are also more, more serious forms, such as when a student pays someone else to write an essay. Some people claim that copying is necessary to do well in school. They have realized that their own words are not as good as someone else. Another common argument is that everyone does it. So it's not a big deal. In fact, it has been learned that even some highly respected figures, including Martin Luther King, have plagiarized. Although some people find a reason to justify plagiarism, other feels the issue is clear cut. They feel it's morally wrong and consider it stealing, a theft of ideas rather than money. These people believe that students who plagiarize benefit unfairly and receive a better grade than they deserve. So what about the incident in Kansas? What was the original punishment to serve? Do teachers have the right to tell students and parents what is right or wrong? Ms. Pelton would probably say the job of a teacher is to do exactly that. What do you think? Do you think the teacher did the right thing? Yes, I think that she she tried to do the, the correct uh, thing because we we can't pretend that we have uh, worked in one task if we don't do it. Yes, I think you're right because the objective of doing homework is to learn and study. Learn. Yeah, I think I think she did the right thing, but imagine the school, the teachers, the parents, yeah. they were angry. Teacher, I, I, I don't know if in your situation this is something like as, as bad, but uh, at best in my in my school, we know that the 
students and the parents have has a lot of power. In some way, in, in some way, we try to to uh, no llegar a eso. I, I don't know how to say it. Not get there. Not get there. Because we, we know that uh, we have a lot to we, we, we have a lot to to lose. Yes, it's true. As a teacher is is very hard situation. It is. Um I know that some I, I know some teachers like in um, public schools. Yes. That the parents are mareros. Yes, yes. And they tell them, hey, me lo pasas. They can't do anything. Can you imagine that? What a future for the children, right? Can you repeat, please, teacher? The pronunciation is plagiarism. 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 Okay, thank you. Plagiarism. Okay, let's listen to this video. See what is next. You're about to watch the very last video of this course. We hope you enjoy them. We suggest for you to keep on watching and practicing your language. Hi, I'm Kai Nagata. I'm a television journalist based here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm also a lifelong cyclist. Right now, cycling is getting more and more popular in Montreal, with 10% of all commuters getting hit by bike, like me, and city officials want that number to increase. More bicycles means more bicycle traffic, and that means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of cycle paths. One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic, <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming, so you should really try to avoid driving against the traffic if possible. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should have their own bike lane and drive towards the oncoming traffic because they will be able to better see what the other parked cars are doing, whether they're driving or parked, the cyclists will have more control. What do you think drivers ought to do to help keep cyclists safe? Drivers should always check their rear view mirrors before opening their doors so that they don't hit a bicycle that's coming up behind them. Do you spend more time driving or riding a bike? Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. So maybe making it harder for drivers. Right. right, that's the nature, the human nature. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? There should be a law that says all children starting from age six should be educated on the rules of bicycling. What do you think of the idea of kids wearing bike helmets? I think they should, but a lot of them won't. What do you think the city could do to make cyclists even safer in Montreal? Um, I think it, it would be best if bicycles and buses were not on the same street. Why do you think that? Because they're not compatible. The bus is very large and we're uh, very small and not protected, but we drive approximately the same speed or on the same path. What do you think cyclists should do to help keep themselves safe in traffic? Be more aware of both automobiles and pedestrians. I think uh, there are ways in which sometimes we cut corners in terms of moving through traffic, um, particularly moving traffic. I think cyclists need to be aware.
What do you think when you see cyclists riding around with headphones in? I don't think it's the best idea. Uh, you have to be alert. Um, you don't often need your ears when you're cycling, but every once in a while you hear something that indicates something that you didn't see. And I, for safety reasons, that I think, you know, I'd like to listen, I'd like to bike and listen to music too. But if you're going to do that, I think you should do that in a park. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? People should never wear Walkmans or iPods or whatever uh, while they cycle because a lot of cycle safety has to do with listening. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? I think cycling on the sidewalk is fine uh, with kids. Uh, I think most pedestrians are at ease with it. Uh, you know, look here, look at how wide this sidewalk is. If you have young children, who are just learning to cycle. I don't see anything wrong with cycling on the sidewalk along here. What's your impression of Montreal as a city for cycling? Cyclists should take a bigger piece of the city and play a bigger role in the city. And I think that uh, drivers and even pedestrians should relax a bit about cyclists. Cyclists are good for cities. Wherever bikes and cars share the road, people are going to have opinions about how they ought to interact. Montreal is no exception, and we may not have solved all the problems yet, but we're working on it. I'm Kai Nagata, reporting from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. What do you think about that here in El Salvador? Oh, it's too dangerous. It's a problem that the U.S. <laughs> but you know, um, sometimes I think I have a problem with in the mornings with cyclists, but rich cyclists. I I, I remember last year every day I traveled to Merliot. I don't know what rich man cycled and exercise every morning in uh, Monsignor Romero. But he had two security guards behind him, two cars. You know. So because he was cycling, the cars behind him were stopping all the traffic because El jefe tiene que ir. That was so, so stupid. Because if he wants to cycle, perfect. Y lo hacía en su, en su, en su espacio. But I don't know how important this man was or who he was, but he had the two security cards in the street going very slow next to him. And that was very stupid. I mean, that, I, 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 I don't think that was correct because people were going to work in the morning. That's what some, some, some presidents do that. If they'd like to do sports, they usually have a bodyguard that does the same thing. Yes, I, I think that in, in El Salvador there is an, uh, places to cycling more in the city. Maybe uh, go out of the city. Well, but, but I, Monse Monseñor, town, Romero, uh, Monseñor Romero is good for that. But like I said, the problem is that sometimes they decide to do it at not a very good time because sometimes it's, it's in the morning and people are going to work. Um, they take the street, so that's not cool. Yes, Naftali. No, my opinion about to use bicycles in the country is a terrible situation in the in San Sabo. Well, in other cities like San Miguel or Santana, it's, it's very popular found people that use the bicycle. Because have this this that cities don't have a lot of population and 
are not very development. So that that cities have a, a town style and the majority of people that work in the in the field field like uh, peasants peasants or peasants is correct peasants yes peasants peasants yes <laughs> the peasants uh, use the bicycle to um, make his make his jobs yes and so for use bicycle like a sport is very well to found but now it is a a law allowed to use the bicycle is it's legal use a bicycle is legal in that country that's it mister so it's an opinion that I don't want you know, you know what I think should be really, really controlled in El Salvador is motorcycles. So the motorcycle have a lot of accidents because oh man, it's so bad. They fight, they fight the the space in the street. For example, when I have traffic. The motorcycle have to the strategy the strategy to uh, uh, to follow the the free line mm -hmm. and esquiva. How do you say esquiva? They cut you. Was that they cut you? Cut you. Yes. The, the motorcycle man could you the, the more cars. Motorcycle so, riders. Motorcycle riders, sorry. Motorcycle riders cut down the, the cars in the street. And so the another problem is that they they don't respect the transit laws, for example. Yeah, and they, they, to use the motorcycle is very dangerous because the majority of motorcycle riders have an accident. Like at some point, with the bus riders is the same problem. Most of the bus riders don't respect the motorcycles. And uh, I've seen that cases. I've seen that, cases where a bus hits a motorcycle and you think, hmm, can do a la culpa because it's very... Yes, for example, <laughs> Uh, in the road number three, you know the road number three, Ruta Tres. No, where, where does that pass? And a uh, case about the uh, bus driver and uh, cruzó o interfirió inter in the cross. This is the bus in, in, interfer and for for uh, uh, he he doesn't he doesn't see the motorcycle so he he didn't see the motorcycle yes he didn't see so uh, uses buses in the capital have. Uh, uh, big problem because the buses are very big for that street. Yes, it's true. It's true. Okay, class. Uh, I think we finished. I hope you have a great Monday. I'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday. Maybe we finish everything early, but I can web us, we can do some activities, we can do music comprehension. All right, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Good night to everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.